Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and um, our question today says find the slope and y-intercept of the equation of the line below and there's the equation of the line and then use them to graph the line. So they want us to draw the line on this graph over here. Okay, I'm gonna go in order here. Now, first thing I will remind you is that you don't have to have um, you don't have to do a lot of math to do a problem like this. What you need to do is you need to remember the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. So it's on your GED formula sheet. You don't even have to have this memorized, but it tells you that the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. Um, and what am I saying by that? I'm saying that if you have your y alone here, then you can see your M, M stands for slope. And you can see your B, the B stands for Y-intercept. You can see, so if the Y is alone on its side of the equation, the equation is solved to Y, you can see the slope and the Y-intercept without doing any math. You can just see it. So basically, the slope is the M, the number multiplying with X, and the B, or Y-intercept, is the number adding or subtracting with X. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our equation. Our equation looks like it's missing some information because all we see here is y equals x. And um, that's why I saved this one for towards the end of this series. This is a tricky example for a lot of students because they feel like m and b are missing. There's They're like, well, all that I see is x. Well, I told you that m, the slope, is the number multiplying with x. We also call that a coefficient. So let me just write it out with a little bit of space here. y is equal to x. Do you know what the invisible coefficient is when you don't see a number out front of x? Well, you're supposed to know that if you just see a single solitary x, that's the same as having 1x. Now, it doesn't mean that x is equal to 1, guys. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is whatever number x is, I only have one of him. There is just one x sitting right there. And so my m, my slope in this case, would be 1. Now you might be wondering, what is um, my y-intercept? What is my b? That appears to be missing in this equation as well. In fact, there's nothing adding or subtracting with x. Let me say that again. There's nothing adding or subtracting with x. It's as if you are adding nothing. No, the number for nothing is zero. Uh, so if you don't see a b there, that's a y-intercept of zero. Now, you might be saying, why is it 1 uh, when it's the m, and why, and why is it 0 when it's the b? And it's because of what they're doing, you know. The number that changes nothing when you multiply is 1. Let me show you what I mean. Um, by the way, that number has a name. We call it the... Um, uh, multiplicative identity. But you don't have to know that name in order to understand what I mean. Look at what I mean. 1 times 5. If you were to take the number 5 and multiply it by 1, of course you'd just get 5. 1 times 7. It won't change the 7 at all. If you were to take the number um, 7 and multiply it by 1, you know, 7 won't change. You'll still have 7. So the same is true for x. If you were to take x, it is a number, and multiply it by 1, you just have that same number x. So 1 is the number that does nothing. It's the identity when you're multiplying. Now, on the other hand, the so m was a multiplier. Slope is a multiplier. Now let's compare that, on the other hand, to b, uh, the y-intercept. y-intercept is not a multiplier. In fact, in our little equation up here, y equals mx plus b, you can see the b is adding uh, onto the equation. Um, so the y-intercept is a term. It's something adding or subtracting. And the thing that does nothing when you add or subtract is not the number 1, it's the number 0. Let me show you what I mean. If you were to take the number 5, for example, and add on nothing, you're going to take 0 onto 5, you would still have 5. Same thing with 7. If you just started with 7 and you added on nothing, you would still have 7. So the same thing is true with x. If you were to take x and add nothing to it, nothing, you would still have x. Okay, so I hope I adequately proved for you that the slope had to be 1 and the y-intercept had to be 0. Uh, now let's use those two pieces of information to graph the line. Remember, when using a slope-intercept form of a line to graph, you want to start with the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is where my line crosses the y-axis. The y-axis is the one that goes up and down. 
the vertical line here. So I'm crossing at zero, so I'm gonna put a dot right there on the origin at zero. Now my slope is a movement. You start from that y-intercept and you move. Remember that it's always easiest to graph slope if you remember that it's a fraction. It's a ratio of rise over run. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it over one. You can dress up any whole number like a fraction by putting it over one, right? One, one whole thing. And so I'm gonna go um, up one over one, up one over one. And you can do it as many times as you need to to make sure you have a straight line, okay? Um, but you can see that there is my line and it would go the same way back here. Okay, um, and so there is the line y equals x. It's got a slope of one, it's got a y-intercept of zero. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.